Right now at 5, 37 people have died in Milwaukee this year and crashes caused by reckless driving. And that includes two innocent victims killed just last night, the result of drag racing. Now, our Taylor Lumpkin joins us live with what we know about this tragic crash and what's being done about this horrible epidemic that's affecting Milwaukee. Taylor. Well, Carol, right now we both, the identities of both victims still have not been revealed, but what we do know is that city officials say they're making it their mission to crack down on reckless drivers. These people murdered people. They murdered people and they have to be treated like that. Officials in Milwaukee are saying enough is enough after a 21 year old woman and a 66 year old man were killed Sunday night in a crash that police say was a result of drag racing. And I looked over there and I seen I'm like, it's bad enough that it was on a bridge, but it was bad. According to law enforcement officials, around 7 o'clock at night, two cars were drag racing and running red lights when one of the racing cars hit the victim's car near North 76th Street and Silver Spring Drive, killing both occupants. It's the second deadly drag race related crash to happen in just one week. And now community leaders are demanding something be done to combat reckless driving in the area. We've got to send a clear message that we're not going to tolerate reckless driving here in Milwaukee County. We're tired and we want uh, stiffer penalties. District 2 Alderman Cavalier Johnson says that updating the city's road infrastructure is critical in order to mitigate reckless driving. Let's not have these 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 ways, these raceways, these straight runways where folks feel like they can drive 130 miles down the street. However, Mayor Tom Barrett says the council needs to approve his stronger summer plan, which would allocate $6 million to go directly to reckless driving prevention efforts. I've got dollars in that package for police overtime so we can have more police out there. It's not as if, you know, the council acting earlier would have stopped this accident from happening. City leaders add that whatever the case may be, something has to be done to address reckless driving, and it has to be done now in order order to save lives and it's time to start you know taking our streets back i think we really have to make sure that they are that they are charged that they are sent to prison without a doubt they have to go to prison Police add that the driver who hit the victim's vehicle is in custody and received minor injuries. They also arrested the second driver as well. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.